So welcome again to another uh, CTF challenge. So this time, uh, hack the backs reminiscent. So let's start with the easy one. So this one is a memory analysis challenge. <clears throat> so here, let's read the challenge description. So there was a suspicious traffic it was detected from a recruiter recruiter's virtual PC. So a memory dump of the offending VM was captured before it was removed from the network for imaging and analysis. So really, uh, memory and uh, memory image are are really the first the first artifact worth capturing because it's it makes uh, analysis easy rather than a logical uh, disk. So and given the order of volatility, uh, it's really the first uh, artifact that can lead us to or that can give us insights uh, into malware activity or TA activity. Okay, anyway, so you'll see later uh, what I'm talking about. So the recruiter mentioned he received an email from someone regarding the resume. A copy of the email was recovered and is provided for reference. So we have to find and decode the source of the malware to find the flag. Okay, so you have to download the file and uh, the password for that would be hack the box. Okay. So now I have downloaded it right here. So you just need to unzip it. So upon unzipping it, so you, you will have these files. And it contains the, as you can see here, it contains the memory dump, that elf and it contains image info and the email copy okay so very useful uh, image info so we don't have to run image uh, image scan or KG, kdvg scan the memory image so it saves us a lot of time so these are the potential profiles so let's see. So if you remember the volatile syntax, so bold.py dash f. Let's give it the memory image. And then we have to do the dash dash profile. Let's try to use the first one, win 7 sp one sixty four, And then the basic check, if it can really parse using the correct profile, is the PS list. So it if it provides the process listing, so we're all good. Uh, we have find the correct profile. Okay, let's give it some time. Okay, I thought it would be slow, but there you go. So it's able to parse the process listing just fine. So which means that we could use this profile. And this is the likely profile of the memory image we are analyzing. Okay, so what's next? So we have an image file as well. So we have Let's try to, to analyze the email. So we have here the email. So we, for this one, we can use the online dot email viewer. Okay. So Encryptomatic is a very good uh, website uh, that can allow allow us to view that EML or that MSG files. So simply just browse the files and it will display the email contents for you so it's under downloads reminiscent reminiscent uh, resume that email remember we are looking for the source so let's view okay so as you can see here it's from Brian Ludworm by this email address sent to this address flounder at madlab.lcl october 3. so hi frank someone told me the greater be my resume could you have a look and as we can see here the source is uh, if you can see my screen it's in the lower left so it's 10.10.99.55 10 port 8080 resume.zip but the thing is uh, we are looking for a flag 
and a flag so when solving hack the box uh, CTF challenges uh, it starts with the HTV uh, string so it's not the flag just yet so what we can do is try to scan uh, the memory image and see a copy of the trash image. Obviously, we cannot download it from here. It's a public IP. So we have to find a copy of that resume in the memory image. So we will be using file scan. Okay, so let's try that. So using the same, could do file scan, then grab resume. Okay, let's give it some time. right as you can see uh, there were results so it's able to find the resume that PDF so now we have to dump it so first let's create a, a dump directory Okay, so this is the best practice so that uh, you, you're able to focus on the dump, dump output based from your uh, the commands you have executed so it will not be mixed with any other files. So now let's do that. Let's do the dumping. So we have to do... Okay, first let's give it a switch dash n. Then dash i for uh, case insensitive, dash r for the regex, and uh, let's do a regex string for the dot link, dot l and k, and then give it a dump directory, dash dash dump dash dir, then equals the directory we just created, the dump, 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 I don't know if I get right, so let's try. Oh, sorry, since we're okay let's double check okay double checking all of course uh, what's the the plugin is dump files dump files dash n dash i dash r okay dear okay let's try Okay, now it's done. So the next up is that we can run strings into this output. Uh, see if there's anything that we can find or interesting. Maybe a uh, encoded string. Uh, we'll see. So let's do a dump. And as you can see, these are the files. So. Let's do for the first string first. So strings dash a file four nine six one seven. Okay, so now it's thrown off a very interesting string here. So uh, if we can, if we if we'll do an initial uh, gander on this, so is this a base 64 string? Oh yes, uh, this is a quite a giveaway. It ends with uh, equals uh, use uses uh, 
combination of alphanumeric so let's see so I will try to copy this and using our handy dandy uh, cyber chef so the common encoding so base 64 and as you can see here uh, I have to remove the null bytes as well okay so what do we have here uh, notice it's a double encoding so the decoded PowerShell still has another encoded base 64 within it so to analyze this we have to decode the the next la next layer so copy it and let's clear this one paste the the next layer and there you go so observe I, I use the null bytes as well because if you don't use this uh, notice uh, it's not it's not readable so there are null bytes in between characters so it's useful to have this in your recipe as well from base 64 and null bytes and below we could actually see this flag so as I mentioned before hack the box plug starts with HTB string and then the actual plug jog your memory okay so that's actually the, the flag the answer to this one which I already did so you could submit the flag and enter that string and that's it guys so a very cool challenge so it's actually an easy level memory analysis so hope to see you in the next one okay <laughs>